What's up everybody, Matt Magna here with Don Dimension Cars and I got a special treat here for you today. As you can see behind me, there is a two-seater sled. Now, this snowmobile is none other than a 1200 Ski-Doo Rev XR. What's great about this sled is it's a four-stroke, so it's got a lot of torque down low and as well as that, it's got a long track and some creature comforts. Now among those it's heated hand warmers which is pretty normal, heated seats and it's got nice storage in the back making a perfect well-rounded sled that you could drive all day. Now without further delays let's take it for a drive. Not so fast. Cue the intro. If you want to see more reviews of bikes, cars, and toys like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. And also hit the like button if you like what you see. What's up everybody? Let's get this thing started. So what am I riding? A 2015 Ski-Doo Grand Touring Special Edition Rev XR. My first comment on this, this sled looks really cool. The color is Platinum Satin. It's powered by the Rotax Fortec 1200 motor. Now this Fortec 1200 motor has been a top seller since 2009 model year when it was created. Now these things are reliable and it's of course a four stroke engine so it's really delivering uh, smooth power with a really good amount of torque down low. And of course, I did say it was reliable. Being a four-stroke, it's not going to need as much maintenance. It's going to go many more miles than a, a two-stroke would without needing, you know, a rebuild or as much maintenance. And another thing, if you didn't know, uh, this engine is a three-cylinder engine. And also, one thing I was surprised to find out when I read it is that this thing is ten and a half feet long. It really doesn't look like it. The skis definitely do add some to its deceptive length. And of course, it is wide as well. Wider than I thought. It's four feet wide. Now, with all that considered, it might seem like a pretty big sled. But consider this. It's about 600 pounds, which is not as heavy as I was expecting for a big tank like this. Let's move on to the ergonomics of the sled. So... One thing it does have is a really big windshield which helps shield your body from the wind and you won't get as cold. The sled also helps protect your legs from excessive wind. Now this next thing I'm going to bring up, most people probably don't really talk about it or maybe they take it for granted if they have it, but I find this really useful and that is the side mirrors. Because normally I'm on a sled that doesn't have any mirrors and during the day, I don't know who's behind me because I can't see him, I can't hear him. i got to turn my whole body when I want to make sure uh, that there's no one right behind me. And also, of course, at night, people have headlights, so it does give you some clue if they're near you. But these mirrors are really a good feature. I will add that this sled also has a silent drive system. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's just the track that has a silent drive or if there's also more technology that makes it a little more quiet because I know it would get pretty annoying to have a really loud sound when you're going on long trips. Another thing it has is heated seat, heated hand grips which you would expect it also has what they call premium luggage. So the lesser trims they might just have a storage space back there but this one has that as well as saddlebags on the side. These rear compartments are in fact removable so they really would come in handy for a snowmobiling tour you know especially if you're gone all day or even multiple days if you're on a long trip. Speaking of long trips it has a 10.6 gallon fuel tank which means you're not going to have to be stopping all the time uh, to refill but it's definitely not a sipper 
um, it's not too efficient. So the 900 ski do from this year, that one gets much better fuel economy. As you'd expect, it's a smaller engine, less power. Now, having ridden this sled for a while, I would say it is probably the smoothest one I've ever been on. You know, the family and I, we like to call it the Barca Lounger because that's kind of what it's like. So sometimes you want to really ride one that's, you know, more sport tuned suspension and and the lighter sled that you can just, you know, toss around the corners, really attack the trail. But sometimes you might just want to cruise along in comfort. And of course, one benefit of it being so smooth is when you're riding two people, the passenger can have a nice smooth ride because I don't really think a passenger would want a bumpy ride because they're not really controlling how you're attacking the trail so the smoother it is really the better now the suspension technology that's giving it this smooth ride is uh, dual a arms in the front that has nine inches of travel and there is R motion rear suspension and that's got 13 inches of travel which is pretty good and also one thing I will add is it also has air control suspension or ACS and if you thought this thing was just a Barca lounger and has no performance to speak of it does have Brembo brakes with braided stainless steel brake line so that means they mean business and I mean Rotax don't they make airplane engines and stuff so that seems like it's pretty high performance especially since this engine has been really popular since 2009. And in case you've been wondering during this discussion how much power it has, it has somewhere in the neighborhood of 130 horsepower, which is pretty good. And I've looked at some of the forms, and I was thinking that this thing would be good in deep snow because it's got a long track, but people say that this is a submarine, so I guess mostly it is still a trail sled okay so we established it's not great in deep powder and it's a trail sled but it's a really good trail sled the long track especially come out of a corner helps you get traction immediately so if you're really trying to drive sporty and attack the trails you can because right out of the corner you give it some gas accelerate hard good good grip and uh, it really does work because the torque of this four stroke engine is actually surprising it's really good so you can accelerate to your heart's content. Of course, when you have a passenger in the back, you're not going to drive as sporty or aggressive. And, you know, they're not going to be able to lean in concert with you as well as just you yourself. But, you know, the passenger, let's just say they're not with you this day and you're attacking the trails. This thing isn't really going to hold you back at all. I mean, it really does have good handling around the corners. Let's recap this thing. So what we have, of course, is the 2015 ski -Doo Grand Touring SE. And the main idea is that you can take this on the trail. It's got the creature comforts that you need. And it's got a great smooth ride. And it's perfect if you have a spouse that you want to take along. Or if you got a kid riding on back. But also, it's not going to leave you wanting too much if you're riding just by yourself. And if you're riding with friends, I think you're going to be able to hang with them because this thing still has great performance. It's got a lot of torque and a good amount of power. And it's not super heavy. It's like 600 pounds. So yeah, it's going to it's going to serve you well no matter if you're riding with two people or just you. Because of course, I do not want to leave out that the long track is going to help you accelerate out of the corners. So there's not really much to me desire with this sled. Now, of course, I'm not going to say it's perfect at everything. I don't think you should take it to the deep snow in the mountains and go off huge jumps or try to, you know, climb the mountain at a, you know, a 10 degree angle. Actually, I don't know what that means, but yeah. So anyways, as promised, I'm going to show you some accelerations and some engine sound. So here we go.
that's it for this Don Dimension snowmobile review. We'll see you next time.